Now we're going to turn to yet another dramatic trial. This one's starting today. A jury seated Monday in the murder case of Timothy Davis Sr., a retired police officer who's been charged with shooting his own son to death. He says it was in self-defense, but a surveillance tape from the officer's own home is raising some pretty big questions. And ABC's John Schriffen is here with the very latest on this story. Elizabeth, good morning. Uh, when this emotional trial starts later this morning, it will pit prosecutors against Timothy Davis's family. Davis says he fired his gun accidentally after his son jumped him during an argument. His wife and daughter side with him, but prosecutors say there is evidence that shows this was intentional. Prosecutors say this surveillance video shows retired Orlando Police Lieutenant Timothy Davis Sr. retrieving a gun from his car and then aiming it at his son. Moments later, they say 22-year-old Timothy Jr. was dead. You have to slow down and tell me what's going on. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe my son was shot. He was shot in front of where? In, in front of my house. In court Monday, Davis could be seen holding and reading through a Bible as jury selection began. As early as the end of this week, court watchers expect prosecutors will tell that jury Davis killed his son in cold blood. That the two men were arguing about the custody of Davis's grandson in October of 2011 when the former cop snapped and shot at his own child. But defense attorneys say that's not what happened, that Davis was defending himself after being tackled by Timothy Jr. He believed that his son was about to cause great bodily injury to him. If he convinces the jury of that, then that would give him a self-defense, which would get him acquitted. Along with 911 calls like this one from a neighbor. Where is he bleeding from, do you know? He's a kid. He's on the floor with his body. Jurors will most likely also see that surveillance video, which was captured by the retired officer's own home security system. Investigators say it doesn't show a man struggling with his child, just one looking for his weapon. And in this case, the video seems to suggest that Mr. Davis Sr. actually pursued or continued the confrontation. Davis is charged with second-degree murder and could face up to life in prison if convicted. He's pled not guilty.